Conspiracy theorist? Who? Me? Well, don't be so kind. You know, when you say that, it only confirms to me that I have been using my mind to look critically at the times and then do a little rewind all throughout history. Conspiracy? Yes. But it's not a theory. You see, the powers that be and the media, they coined the term conspiracy theorist to keep you and me the leeriest of anyone who would dare shatter the illusion and expose the collusion and attempt to speak nuggets of truth into this confusion. But let me preface by saying that peeling back the layers of this onion burns. It will make your eyes sting and water and you could decide to just not bother and that's your choice. But as for me, I have come across some information and I have felt no justification not to use my voice. So let me break this down. I'm going to take you back, all the way back, to Genesis. Remember this? The first conspiracy in the Garden of Bliss. Satan dressed as a snake tricked Eve and that fruit she ate. Adam too. Tricked into thinking they could have a knowledge that only God can have. Tricked into thinking they could become an enlightened woman and man. And it is from that line of thinking that the secret societies and Illuminati started this schism. At the core of it, they worship Satan and practice Gnosticism, salvation through knowledge versus Versus salvation through Christ and you're thinking okay right well that's just Genesis and I'm saying yes exactly this it's been going on since way back when that elite groups plotted their next move in real life chess and we're somewhere in the middle and we know how this ends but while we're there we have to deal with this mess I digress have you heard of Kabbalah? That practice isn't gone, just ask Madonna. Then born of French knights came the Knights Templar, protecting the pilgrims traveling to the Crusades from afar. You would know them by their red cross and shield, and so much power did they yield. Owning land and money, you wouldn't have missed them. They started the first checkbook and world banking system. But somewhere along the line, things weren't so divine. When with Gnosticism and Kabbalah, they aligned. I want to say so much more on this, but I have to stop because Moses Amshel Bauer is where I want to take this talk. He put a red shield at the top of his coin shop. Red shield. Think Rothschild. He had a son named Mayer, a most prominent banker, lending money to leaders and governments by day and a self-proclaimed child of the false light by night. His goal was to rule the world, and through his five sons, they hurled this power grab at world domination into a never-ending abomination, and to this day, and dare I say it, in this nation, the Rothschild family maintained operation. You see, Illuminati-inspired secret societies have existed all the way unto today. But you have to depart from your elementary school history book page and dig. Research the Bilderbergs, the Rockefellers, and the Freemasons, and then take a little deep breath to learn that they're still chasing total world control. It makes sense with all the agendas and the goals of the NWO. And then go look at the Georgia Guidestones. 500 million is the cap on population, so tell me, how are they going to achieve this compilation of plots and plans to maintain total world effect? Well, none other than their tried and true Hegelian dialect. Problem, reaction, solution. Create the problem, manipulate the reaction, and offer the solution. I get it, to accept this is still going on now is mind-blowing in absolution. But I've said a lot, and I know what you're thinking is, haven't we evolved out of this? Well, I'll leave you with this little tidbit. Don't merely accept or reject what I'm saying. Research it. And once you do, you might ask yourself, do the rabbit holes really go this deep? I don't know. You tell me.